hello hello jericho road adventures continue we are the third of the jericho road stores this one is county line it is in spring hill and i've only been here once and i found some good stuff same deal as the last two videos that you watch 50 percent off dollar clothes i'm gonna try to buy in moderation that's very very easy for me to say and it's very very hard for me to do if you're with me let me know down in the comments let's go in and see what we can find all right so at this store last time i found fabric and i think mostly clothes so there's no telling what will be in here i think I found the good fabric because somebody had donated a big lot of it. I don't think it's something they really have all the time. So let's go in here and see what we're going to find this time. And this store is pretty packed. Look, I went straight to the shirts at Eli Cattleman 3XL right off the bat here so this rack was at the front of the store so i think this is new stuff that they just brought out so i figured i would check this out real quick and see if we could find anything good that eli cattleman should bring about 25 to 30 and all of the clothes are a dollar so that's a pretty good profit on that one and it's a really really good size on it as well Now, this one has quite a few collectibles. I don't know what that says. I think this is newer, though. I don't think this is a vintage piece, so I'm going to leave that one. And again, all of the housewares and collectibles are all 50% off, and then all of the clothing pieces are only a dollar. These blue ones are really, really pretty, but I don't think those, those were probably, I would say Libby glasses, and I don't think they had too much value to them. And on this gray metal shelf here on the left is where the fabric was last time, but there's only one roll, and I think it is one of the ones that was there before. Look at all these cute little neck pillows. Somebody must have made them and then donated them in. I don't think the those are probably I would say worth 10 to 12 so definitely below where I'm trying to be not sure where I where I want to go today quite a bit of plush and I really do not dig through the plush very often I probably should because there's definitely a bunch of valuable plush and if you missed my video on my other channel i'll pop it up top of plush that is worth five hundred dollars i will pin that up top for you guys so let's go look at some more collectibles here and see what we see that glass vase there i believe this is a blanco really really nice with the dimples and let's see how much this one is this one's only 4.99 so it's only going to be two dollars and fifty cents so that one is definitely an amazing amazing pickup and again i'm pretty sure that it is blanco so we are gonna get it i don't know why i'm not getting it i was looking it up with my phone to confirm so yeah great find on that one Let's see. Most of this stuff that I'm seeing is newer stuff. Definitely stay away from bells unless they're silver and choking as well. Like this choking piece, the choking was way overproduced. That is not something I would pick up. This one's pretty little ginger jar, but that one is definitely a newer piece. let's see look at these wood pieces i thought those would be heavy and they were super light those were really like cheap little plastic um weights i didn't even see those green bins i see them now so if you guys see those green bins on the end those are what i use to put my jewelry in now this one i think i'm going to get for myself because this one's cedar and it's 450 and you can 
never have enough bubble bath, right? Now here on this last row, there's pillows. Check this out. Vintage Woolrich, a horse pillow. This one's probably, if I had to guess, I would say like $35 to $40. And I it says they're $2. So that one's only going to be a dollar after the discount. I'm not sure why this stuff is hanging over here. I... I think they moved some of the linens because they had so many clothes, but that's kind of an awkward place. This is really pretty with the cobalt blue, but again, I think it's newer. And if you guys don't know, I will pick up some newer stuff because some newer stuff is valuable, but I definitely gravitate towards and prefer the vintage stuff over the newer stuff. And this is a neat piece, but that one was a ceramic mold. That was probably made thousands and thousands of times. So probably not much value on that one, unfortunately. What is this? What 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 is that thing for? I wasn't sure. Let's see. And I do look at the dishes. I don't pick up a ton of dish sets. I really only pick them up if the plates individually are worth about $20 a piece. So they have to be pretty spectacular. Look, a Michigan hat, Michigan hockey. That one will be two fifty with the discount. I think we'll grab that one. There's a Detroit Tigers. Look at this. I might have to keep this one. It says live naked. It's about beanie season here in Florida. So I might just have to keep that one for myself. Let's see. There's a North Carolina Tigers heels that one I think I'm gonna pass on they have quite a few hats today though that one's suede I didn't see a brand on it though so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one because I'm not sure value wise if you do a lot of hats let me know what you guys do there is a Tampa Bay Buccaneers bucket hat that one's only going to be $1.50, so we'll go ahead and grab that one. Another Michigan. That one's an Adidas Michigan. That one's only $1.50 with the discount, and I'm throwing things on the floor. Landed in a bin, though. Dallas Cowboys hat, Reebok. That one was only $2.50, so I grabbed that one as well. Buffalo Trace Distillery. Alright, so we grabbed a few hats. Looks like this line is starting to back up here already. Last time I was here, it was backed up like 20 plus people. They have a lot of mugs here today. I'm not seeing anything that's really sticking out. Look at the moo cow. That one's only a dollar. But it's like a really thin tumbler, so I think I will pass on that one. I also have a mug video if you guys haven't seen. I will pop that one up top now, for you. Here is an FSU tumbler. You guys know I am not an FSU fan, but for a dollar, I will pick that up because it should sell for about fifteen to twenty. I don't, I don't know what their record this year though, but we're gonna, we're gonna pick it up and try. This is a really cool recycled glass, and this one doesn't have the cobalt blue up top. This one actually has like an amber, but that one's like a really nice little like squat base. So, I think that one is a good find. And I like the cobalt blue in the back, but I think that one's probably like an FTD or some type of newer one. What are these? $1.99 for four. These are like little wine tumbler insulators and they're only a dollar for four. They are branded, so I'm gonna pick those up. I'm gonna think they're hopefully they'll go for around twenty to twenty-five. This one is Taylor Bird. This one's a flip cuff, and I typically do well with them. You can see that 
polka dot on the flip cuff so we'll grab that one and again all of the clothes today are a dollar so can't beat that buy price for sure I'm always checking the cuffs now because I'm looking for those flip cuffs let's see and this is some more like newer racks that they bought brought out that's a nice nautica shirt but that one had a stain on it unfortunately so i decided to leave that there let's see if we can find any purses it's a nice leather purse unfortunately it's not branded so i'm gonna leave it i will pick up some vintage leather purses that aren't branded but that one was not overly impressive this one's cute with the little embroidery yeah, maybe it's not a purse day for me. Look at how many clothes they have. They have all the clothes. That's why I can't find any good clothes. So look at all these rolling racks. They're like along the aisles. And it's like all extras that they had. Now look at this. This is a Wrangler button up. Brand new with the tags for a dollar. So that one is definitely like a no brainer to pick up because it's new and it's only a dollar with the polka dotted nightgown they have tons of belts and ties i do look at the belts uh, most of the time that one with the ties though i i've kind of given up on ties if you do good with ties definitely let me know but i tried and i did not do very well with those look at this definitely like nautical vibe it says international and it's single stitch, so for a dollar, we're going to grab that one. And you can see I do look through the men's just a little more thoroughly than I do the women's because I do not know the women's brands very well. So I think they brought most of these out because they were doing the dollar clothes because they had an abundance of clothes that were in stock. Look at, the, like, do you see the piles? It's crazy. Say hello to my little friend. There's your St. Patrick's Day shirt. I did not get it. We will, we will leave it there. That would probably sell for about 12 to 15 So depending on what price point you're wanting, that actually would be an okay pickup. Probably won't sell till next year, though, unfortunately. Let's look at the other side of these purses. This one, it's got a bunch of scuffs, so I don't think I want to deal with that. This one... It's a little mossy mo, so that one's probably Target brand, so we're going to pass on that one also. This is really cute, this little bag. I normally get stuff like that, but I did behave and leave that one, because that one's probably only about $15. So definitely always check the back pack sections there can be some good money there and I say it all the time I don't know the toys that much uh, normally when Shannon's with me Shannon will check the toys as well as the shoes which are two sections that I kind of gloss over and blow past it's a really cool Tampa Bay Rays puzzle but it's not new I will not buy puzzles that are not sealed you just I'm, it's not worth it to count the pieces and that's what you would need to do to be able to resell them to know that they are complete it is busy 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 in here today let's see if we can squeeze through here I see some tags hanging which is what caught my eye here because again when you can get these new clothes for only a dollar a piece it as long as they're a decent brand is kind of a no-brainer and here is a Ralph Lauren Lauren shirt. This one size large. It was really faded, so I did decide to pass on that. Now this is a Sanibel Captiva shirt, and this one I think I'm gonna get. And this one's faded, but those with the souvenir ones will still sell like that, and they do pretty decent. 
that was just a George branded jacket which is Walmart for those of you that do not know I know I saw some new tags hanging down here somewhere I think this is one yeah so this is a Sag Harbor it's a blazer and it looks like it's got a $60 MSRP for only a dollar so we're definitely going to grab that one and if you guys do not know this name, this is BCBG Max Azaria. That blazer is probably worth between $50 and $100, and it's only a dollar. So that one was definitely a good find. So jackets and coats is another section that I would say always check out for sure. Don't see anything else over here, though. All right, we're going to check out the dresses. I've been trying to look at the dresses a little bit more because I have found some higher dollar ones. I just, again, I'm still kind of learning. And I think in this store, we don't have a signal. This one's really cute with like the purple violets. And it's almost like a linen. And this one is actually Bloom Chick, which is... A really really comfortable dress if you guys do not know I love their dresses so for a dollar I'm definitely gonna pick that one up I think it should sell for between 25 and 35 dollars on that one and I love those dresses because they all have pockets that is the best all right I think we're getting close to being done we're just gonna look at a few more sections and then I will show you guys again what I found. I don't, I didn't even see what that was I grabbed. So you guys have to wait until the haul at the end to see that. There's just so many extra racks of clothes in here today. Again, I think they just had like a massive influx. And since it was dollar day, they're trying to move out as much as they can while they've got the crowd because this store if you guys do not know does the dollar close and 50% off just one day a month and it's a random day so you never know when it's going to be look at this little dress this one is cute and I like that pattern so I'm going to go ahead and get that one sometimes you can buy stuff on pattern and style and as long as you keyword it well it will sell I'm climbing through the racks don't judge Those are newer. I went back here because I saw the linens. That's why I climbed through the racks. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna climb. We're gonna climb back through the racks here in a minute. This one, ugh, those pink and blue are like typical country colors. It's eight ninety nine, but look at that big old hole, big hole in that one. So I think we're gonna leave that one there. There are enough crochet blankets that you do not need to pick up ones that have flaws. You definitely will be able to find some that are good. I'm trying to find a brand on this Paisley piece. Look at that. Lauren Ralph Lauren. That one, I believe, was a top sheet and probably should be about $40 to $50. Rush. Concert tee. We will pick that one up for a dollar I think we're gonna get ready and go get in the long line there is Elena Elena has been here the whole time you guys just have not seen her on this video but she is in the store with me this is Soma Soma is a great QVC brand and that's a great set of pajamas so I'm gonna grab those we're just checking the pajama section real quick and I think we're going to go ahead and head to check out. All right, so I got a lot there, but I only spent $45. And I think that really cool vase I got is Blanco, pretty sure. And some other pretty, pretty good finds. So let's go ahead and take a look at them all again right now. All right, so I got some hats. I got a couple of Michigan hats. I got a Dallas Cowboys hat. I'm going to look this up, the Luxury Bathing Company, and I figured it's Cedarwood. If it's not worth it, I'm going to take that into my bathroom. I got a Florida State Seminoles Tervis, 
And then I got this set of four. These are mana little like wine goblets. The fifth third bank. Did I get that there? I don't know why I got that. I don't know why I got that, but I got it. Um, this is a Blinko. This is probably one of the best pieces. So everything was half off. So this one was only $2.50. This is a really pretty recycled glass with kind of the amber brown top. This one um, is a little base. The Eli Cattleman shirt I always do well with. This is a vintage Allen Sport International nautical uh, Bloom Chick dresses, I absolutely love. That's like the only brand of dress I really like. This one's fourteen sixteen, And then uh, pillow cover, live naked. Come on, guys. Um, if that's not worth anything, I might keep it. This one is a vintage Woolrich pillow. That one should be really good. Uh, Sag Harbor Women's. I think I got this one because it's new with the tags. Yep, there it is. So it has $60 price tag. I only paid a dollar uh bcbg max azaria is a very high-end brand all of these clothes were only a dollar um also soma which is a good brand i found some allison ray pajamas sanibel captiva shirt then rush time machine that's a concert one mackinac island jacket this one is a uh, taylor bird really nice i think that one's a flip cuff uh dress barn dress and then the Wrangler shirt. So if you guys are interested in any of this, shoot me an email, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com, and I will see you on the next one.